Good morning, cute friends. I cannot wait to show you what we're gonna be making today. Look at these cute little chickens. So this is an Oreo right in here. And so we have our chicken and then we have the little chicks. Look how cute. Aren't they adorable? All right, let's get started. They're so simple and so easy to make. So all you need is, you just need some Oreos. You're also going to need, for the chicken, you need some white almond bark. You guys know I love the Walmart brand. Um, you'll need the yellow candy melts. Now, if you can't find these candy melts, you could melt some almond bark and put some yellow food coloring in it to give it the yellow color that you want for the chicks. You're also going to need orange M&Ms for the beak. And what you do with the beak is you just take the orange M&M and you cut it in half so that it looks like this, okay? Um, then you're gonna need some little eyeballs. And these are those eyeballs, they're the Wilton eyeball. They come in a little package like this, like this. Okay, they're awesome. All right, and then you just need these little sprinkles so see how you see those little yellow ones i couldn't just find one container that just had only yellow so i had these and then i just picked out those little yellow ones for the little feathers on the top of the baby chick okay and then i happen to have just these little yellow i mean not yellow these little red hearts from just valentine's and that's what you use to put on the top now, if you can't find that, this is my other thought. I thought, well, you know what? You could probably take some, all of a sudden I can't think of what they're called, roll-ups, some fruit roll-ups and cut maybe a heart. That was just an idea that I thought about. All right, so I'm gonna move the camera so you guys can see me in a different way and we'll get started making these. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just make the chicken first, okay? So you just take your melted almond bark, the white almond bark. And if you've never done this before, you just take pieces of the almond bark and you put it in the microwave for a couple of minutes and then you just stir it around and you just keep it going until it melts, okay? So then you're just gonna take your Oreo and you're gonna put it in your almond bark. I love this little tool, but if you don't have one, just use a fork, that works too, okay? And then you just tap it and you can use a fork also, like I said, and then just tap it and you wanna get all of that white chocolate down as much as you can off of your cookie. And then you're just gonna put it down, okay? Then all you do is you just take your little beak and I put it in the middle. I just thought it looked good in the middle, okay? And then, you take your little eyes, and you just put them right here. And if you have a heart, this is where the heart goes. You just stick it right here. And that's it. Isn't that adorable? So it should end up looking just like this. So next we're gonna make the cute little chick. And same thing, what you're gonna do is you're just going to take your yellow chocolate, almond bark, I guess is what we call it, and you're gonna take your Oreo, dip it in here. I'm gonna spoon this over because this yellow tends to be a little bit thicker, and so I'm just gonna spoon it over. You know what, I'm gonna show you how to use a fork to get that off in case you don't have a tool like I do. So you're just gonna kinda try to smooth that, and then you just lift it out, tap it, and then you're gonna put it down. We're gonna take that M&M that we've cut in half, okay, so it's half of an M&M, put it right down in the middle. You're gonna put your eyes on, And 
And then you just take, and if, the, if any part of this is, is hard, it's just holding on. Oh, it's holding on to these little feathers. So I've taken little sprinkles. Okay, one fell off, so I'm just gonna pick that off here if I can. Come on. Okay, get that away. All right. And again, you're just gonna make like a little tuft on the top of its head. And that's it. You can add as many as you want. Whatever you think is cute. And then you let these dry for about 15 or 20 minutes. So are you guys just in love with these just like I am? I think they're so cute. And it just reminds me of spring and Easter and it makes me so happy. So thanks so much for joining me today. Always remember that you can be stronger every day and do hard things. And I'll see you next time, friends. Bye.